After the holiday break, the AJHL resumed this weekend and the Lloydminster Bobcats and Bonneville Pontiacs both hit the ground running with weekend doubleheaders. We'll start with the Cats visiting Sherwood Park last night. This is the last time the clubs will meet in the regular season. Cameron Berinsky right here cuts out in front to tie the game at one in the second. Now, middle of the frame, Bobcats on the power play. Brett Everson snaps one home from the circles. Lloyd goes back in front 2-1. Later, more Bobcat pressure. The puck is loose in front, but Zach Klassen stands his ground and keeps his team within one heading to the third. But just a minute and a half into the final frame, another man advantage for the Bobcats, and Kevin Dara sends the water bottle flying. His second of the game, it's 3-1. Late in the game, Crusaders goalie out, chance in tight, but Devin Green is having none of it. He's been fabulous all year, and the Cats win it 3-1. to one. And that's the first win of the year for the Bobcats as they hang on to second place in the North Division. Kevin Dara also got the first goal for the total of two points in the game, and Devin Green stopped 20 shots in the tilt. Bonneville heads up north to Fort McMurray to take on the Oil Barons this Tuesday. And you can catch the Bobcats in their first home game of the year this Friday against the North Division leaders, the Spruce Grove Saints. This weekend, Lloydminster also welcomed back the midget AAA Baker, who's Bobcats after the break, coming off a 7-4 win yesterday against the Calgary Buffaloes, who not only lead the Chrysler Division, but earlier this week made it to the semifinals in the Max Midget Invitational. Baker Hughes was trying to make it a two-win weekend this afternoon against the Canadian Athletic Club. Kobe Moore returning to the lineup after playing up with the Oil Kings last night in the WHL and halfway into the first period. A long freed from Braden Hilland to try Flex Wolanski, and Flex Wolanski puts the Canadians on the board first. Then Moore, with an illegal cross-check here on Captain Josh Michener, stops play. Michener was shaken, but eventually he was able to skate off, which is always a good sign. Moore given a misconduct and left the game. Still in the second, and the puck gets some major air, and Highland manages to poke it past goalie Austin McGrath. And with four minutes left in the period, Clayton Eisler fires it from the blue line, and Flex Wolanski nets the rebound for his second of the game. This goal from Troy Dudley in the third seals the shutout for the Canadians as they take it 4 0. Baker Hughes is hanging on to fourth place in their division, but close behind are the Grand Prairie Storm. The squad will have the week to rest before facing St. Albert at the Civic next Saturday. Let's hear what head coach Travis Clayton had to say about the matchup today. Usually the second game after a Christmas break is the hardest because, you know, we came out so well yesterday and played so well. And today we just didn't have the energy today. And, you know, uh, I'm still proud of the boys. You know, we still we gave whatever we had and we just we just didn't have that extra gear today. We were, I don't think we were focused enough off the start, uh, didn't come out, we weren't getting pucks deep. Uh, came on that first period and had lots of turnovers, so I mean that's the game changer. Yesterday, the foremost Benton Heat tied against the, Mont the Edmonton, pardon me, Montreal's a long ways away, the Edmonton MLC. So this afternoon, they were still looking for their first win of the new year and they were facing St. Albert. Already one nothing Sabres after 20 minutes of play, then a nice pass to Eddie Gallagher who's waiting at the back door and he makes it 2 zip. Then Brady Nichols, doing all the work himself, dances around the Heat defense, and this would be his second of the game. Less than a minute later, Garrett Clegg goes coast to coast and puts it top shelf. Nice little solo selly also on the boards. The Raiders are up four. In St. Albert's end, Rhett Reinhardt plows into Dylan Wells, then goalie Ryan Oslin trips over his own net. Some pushing and shoving as Reinhardt gets a penalty and would leave for the period. Doesn't look very happy there. Let's go to the third. Oren Sentazo with a chance to get the heat on the board, but Oslin denies him. Halfway through the third, number five, Aiden Yakimchuk and Ryan Dietz with a little give and go, but Dietz is the one to net it and makes it 6 nothing for the Heat. That would be your final. Heat still looking for their first win of the new year, and they'll be back at the Civic Center on Sunday.